and cautious hopes of a de-escalation over Ukraine as Russia moves some troops away from the border. But the scale of the withdrawal is still unclear. Julia Chapman joins us live now from Moscow for more on this. Julia, how is Russia portraying the troop movement away from the border with Ukraine? The Russian Ministry of Defense says some of its units are being returned to their bases in the western and southwestern military districts. These are some of the 100,000 troops believed to have been built up on the Ukrainian border in recent months. This doesn't refer to, we understand, the 30,000 troops currently holding drills in Belarus. Uh, the MOD here says that these uh, units have completed their drills and that is why they are going back to base as scheduled. They are not uh, framing this as any kind of de-escalation. They're simply saying their work has come to an end there. Uh, the Kremlin has uh, been referring, of course, to U.S. intelligence that there would be an invasion this week as baseless hysteria. And we've also been hearing from the uh, foreign ministry <clears throat> spokeswoman Maria Zaharova today, uh, who said that this move uh, will go down in history as the day that Western war propaganda failed. Uh, so the Russian government very keen to position this as a victory for them. Um, but there's still a lot of caution in the West. Uh, we've been hearing from the Ukrainian foreign minister Minister Dmitry Kuleba, who welcomed these signals, but said that uh, Ukraine will watch to see exactly what happens on the ground. The UK Foreign Secretary Liz Truss says that uh, the Britain wants to see a big full scale pull down of the U uh, Russian troops on the Ukrainian border uh, before welcoming this move. And France has welcome this as a positive sign, uh, but certainly it's not being considered to be a full de-escalation yet. And tensions do remain very high. And at the same time, Julia, diplomacy, that's in overdrive. Uh, Germany's leader, the latest to hold talks with Vladimir Putin as well. That's right. He is currently in the Kremlin holding a meeting with President Vladimir Putin aimed at de-escalating the crisis over Ukraine. There have been concerns that Germany simply doesn't have the clout or the willingness to use its leverage over Russia to have any serious impact in these negotiations, because not only are they talking about Ukraine and Russia's security demands, uh, they're also talking about energy. And Germany and Russia are big energy partners. Germany very reliant, particularly on Russian gas. And the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline, which has been built between the two countries but isn't yet operational, is currently on the table for discussion. Now, there have been calls for Germany to threaten uh, to hold off on giving any license to Nord Stream 2 in the case of a Russian invasion, but it's been very reluctant to use that threat. And it's come under criticism for that. But certainly Germany uh, pushing the diplomatic path today. We've been hearing signs from the Russian government as well that it is willing to continue diplomatic engagement over these issues. Uh, so certainly this will be the latest in these uh, talks that have been going on between Western officials and Russian ones. And we're expecting to hear the outcome in a press conference later today. Julia, thank you for that update. Julia Chapman in Moscow.